Welcome to week four of season five of Solo Nation League. In this matchup, we have Reaper, sponsored by Campus Customs versus the Magician, sponsored by Grooming Gallery. I'm your play-by-play -play analyst, Josh Gonzalez, and with us today, we have BDM in the building. How you doing, man? Um, doing great. Great to be back. Can't wait to see the historic 97th, 98th, 99th, and 100th game in league history. Hey, man, I'm, I'm happy to be back as well. I was out with COVID, but, you know, I'm good now. He beat the vid. I did. Right in time for a really good matchup. Ooh. Ooh. Tried passing out of their field. Early. He's been playing really aggressive, but the Magicians have been struggling this season. Let's see if they, you know, what, what they've been working on in the lab, see if they could turn this season around. There's still seven games left, including this one. I'll tell you what, what you need is, is high team morale. You saw Chili run right up to him to pick him up when he's hit the ground. That's going to keep the uh, attitude high, so performance will follow. Oh, yeah, I saw Gator hitting threes earlier, and he was looking lasered in. That's not something you want. Heck of a block by yep. Nick. Oh, man, look. The defensive team once again getting another steal, causing another turnover. Here comes Sauce. Nice looking for the, the corner. And the three ball is good. Shakespeare making poetry out here. Point God Sauce. Oh, yeah. He sees things. <laughs> and sometimes hears things. Oh, you're right. Oh, oh Chili, bad pass. Oh, that's on. Oh, that's that. That's on. That's on Phil. Yeah, Phil he's got to touch that. Take the back. Gotta, take the back it. court. Definitely got to grab it. It was definitely right in front of him. That at least would have stopped the game on that one. You got to be aware. Yep. Comes Ooh. Gator. Coming down. Oh, finds Gary. Gary recently traded from the Dogs. Now running point for the Magicians. Couldn't quite get one there. That would have gone a long way to his over-under of seven and a half points set by our handicapper, Mitch Anzavino. Oh, yeah. Would have been a quarter of the way there already. Oh, yeah, no, you're right. Nice moving the ball around the perimeter. Even yep. parts. Has to hold on to the ball. Team identity of the Reaper is defense. Look at that perimeter D. Chili going up. Taking the contact. Sometimes he's just a little too strong. You know, good defense, <laughs> but he just powers right through you. Oh, yeah. Man, they're playing with a lot of aggression here. You almost have to. First shot miss from the free throw line by Chili. So Chili is a long season veteran in this league. If there has been one downfall to his game, it's been the inconsistency from the free throw line. Oh, yeah, that's where he struggles from, as you can see there. Oh, for two. two. He's a high-energy player, big rebounder, great defense. Unfortunately, sometimes the free throw stripe is not kind to him. Uh -oh. Something they need to work on. Shakespeare going up. See that? Good defense. Energy, defense. Yep. He's definitely a good hustle player as well. Doesn't just give up because he's not feeling it offensively. Gator, good. That's a sweet finish of the day, brought to you by Ash's Bait Shop. Nice little gator roll through the lane, too. Starts oh, yeah. on one side, makes his way all the way to the other. Like I said, he was practicing his shots early, right before uh, the game, just practicing on his game, and he looked laser-focused in. Speak about laser focus, Sway with a nice move. If there was one part of the game that was going to practice, Gator would be practicing his offense. Defense? Nah. Nah. <laughs> Passing? Hasn't thought about it in a decade. <laughs> nice communication on that one. Good move, just couldn't finish there. You hear Gator screaming right, right on the pick. Very few people do that effectively. You need to, because that actually helped lead to that miss. Oh, no, no you're right. Defender wasn't left on an island. Uh oh, Gator stepping back, looking for a three point shot. Ethan Parks with the rebound. Gator looking for the three point line. Here comes P. Off the bar. Can't hit. Chili going right back up. Hey, they're playing physical. That's got to be Black I'm surprised Paul. there wasn't a foul call right there, but they're letting them play. They're letting them play. <laughs> Here, the PA announcer franchise saying, you got to scream for that. You'll get the foul call. <laughs> hey, Absolutely true. You got, you got to try to sell it. Yeah. You know? You got to act like you just lost a leg. A hundred percent. Phil so was a nice save right there. Chili going up against two. I don't know if that's a good thing, but look. And 
forget about what I just said. That's another sweet finish brought to you by Ashes Bake Shop. Goes up, gets the two, and now has a chance to make it a three-point play. Let's see if he can hit at least one. You know, at least one. He's got it. He's got it right here. Oh for three from the free throw line early. Hey, you still have a whole game left. That's fine. As long as they can stay on top, communicate. You know, keep them, keep the Reapers at bay. They should be fine. Reapers themselves were struggling to score last game. Last week was Sway going up and in. You know, last game he had 22 points. You think that they're going to be looking at him to score and be the hero of this game? I think he's going to have to be. The Reapers historically as a franchise have not been known for a high offensive type of performance. Adding Sway though, arguably the best offensive player in the league. So you hope the rest of the team plays the kind of defense and mm -hmm. rebounds and everybody plays their part and Sway takes it from there. Yeah. A couple seconds ago, there was a little bit of some physicality going on down there, but they called a foul. He's also a part-time referee. You can see he's like, saying that was the same call on the other side. <laughs> yeah, was on number 17, Josiah Shaw. So now Phil has a chance at two. On the floor. On the floor. On the floor. They're making. They're okay. So. Um, What's the issue here? They're debating whether it was on the floor or an actual foul. Okay. So it was just an on the floor call. So now they just get the possession of the ball, forget the two points. Gator makes up for it anyways. Another sweet finish of the day brought to you by Ashes Big Shop. Take a bite of delight. Oh, that's a good one. Mm, you like that one? Yeah. I still haven't tried one of her cookies. Oh, you're missing out. Best in the area. I know, and they're not like they're not your average cookie either. They're like she's not your average baker. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Not sure with a strong baker. rebound there. Here comes Phil. Pulls it from the three-point line. Now, he's an offensive player. He can just start lighting it up. So it's only a matter of time. So if he gets these open shots consistently. Yeah, they need to get him into those positions, though. Good block by Chili. Now they're pushing it down court. Chili looking for Phil. Phil. Oh! Wow. And that's a slip and fall brought to you by a Matt Law. Look out. If you get hurt, you know who to call. Seven and a half minutes in the game. We got subs, subs. Sub, sub, sub. Looks like they're gonna sub in Hood Superstar. Hood Superstar and Ethan fan favorite, out. Mike Mitchell. So yeah, six man, right? Six man of the year in the past couple seasons, if I'm not mistaken. He is pure energy. Oh yeah, he's good. At, he, he's a good player to come off the bench. Uh, where are we going? Showing you the world. He might be the first Selling Nation player to collect social security, but <laughs> while doing it, he's also going to be the most in shape and the highest energy player out there with a positive attitude at all times. Oh, yeah. He's like that glue piece. He brings, he elevates the other players around him as well. He hypes them up. Look at that. Already a steal passes it to Phil. They're going to push it down court. Gary Harris. There. That's what, that's what's going on, man. That's how, the, that's how you do it. Sweet finish of the day brought to you by Ash's Big Shop. Such, such good passing right there. Gary Harris recently traded from the Dogs. Lots of moving around the perimeter. They got Cha Cha with a nice pass to the corner. Uh, call timeout. Smart call by Sauce. Yeah, they, they didn't want to. It was compromising position. Yeah. Yep. It's classic. They tell you don't get caught in the corner there. Well, this is a great time to get one of our timeout leads in. We buy houses. We buy houses and mobile homes. Any type, any condition, no equity, no problem. We work fast. Use cash and no nonsense. Up to $1,000 if you refer a home that goes to closing. To speak to Josiah Kenyon, give him a call at 407-735-6228. Go buy that home. <laughs> Hey, interest rates, interest rates are about to be dropping, so. Sure, hope so. It, it might be a good time to buy here soon. Hey, you're talking to somebody who works at a mortgage company. I would absolutely love interest rates to drop. <laughs> oh. Speaking of dropping, we lost the camera. Yep, you're right. <laughs> it's all right, though. The game continues on. All right, Arsena. Ooh, that was, that was a good move. 
I would like to. I would like for him to keep trying that. Oh, good pass. Sway with the ball. The concern I have for this Reapers team here is there's a lot of passing around the perimeter. You're right. Eventually, you have to get the ball in the paint and either score or work inward, outward. Just hoping to make a game around the perimeter. Very few times does it fully work for a 40-minute basketball game. I 100% agree. Give them a different look. You know, they're gonna they're gonna adjust to that. Now you guys have to adjust to that adjustment. Ooh, John Lott just peppering the referee right now. <laughs> I might remember he's fresh off of a suspension, fresh. ladies and gentlemen. So fresh off the suspension, he's the Draymond Green of this league. Yep, he is, and he you know he plays with a lot of energy, a lot of aggression, a lot of passion, a lot of emotion. Pays a lot of fines. I feel like a lot of this team is built that way, though. You have to be. You follow your leader. Yep. Harris pulls a three-point shot. Let's go. That should bring his uh, points total to five on the day. Five out of the eleven. Yep. You know, on the podcast, they were talking about Gary Harris, how he just wasn't, maybe wasn't a good fit for the dogs, but it looks like he's proving to be a good fit for the Magicians here early in the game. Here comes Mike with him. Oh, my good, with a finish of the day. Brought to you by Ashes Big Shot. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, the Magicians looking like a complete different team from last week. Maybe tried to do a little too much in back transition. Back-to-back steals. Back-to-back-to-back uh -oh. back back steals. Oh, my goodness. A triple steal. Oh, 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 oh good pass. Oh. See, but that's the facilitator that they were missing last game. That was a really good pass, in my opinion. Probably could have been assist of the day. Let's see if they could get it right here. And nice there's the ahead. assist of the day brought to you by We Buy Houses. That was a really good assist. You know, Gators reach up to 13 miles an hour at land speed on foot. <laughs> he was actually pretty close there. <laughs> Don't fact check that. Oh, they had sauce right Don't down the middle there. They did. Oh, okay. Fonzo taking it up. Ooh, no foul call. A little Ooh. bit of... Magician they, bench is not happy there. They thought they had a foul. Oh, yeah, there's a little bit of contact. No, no doubt, but... Phil misses another three-point shot. Here comes Sway going up. And <laughs> this time they get the foul. They're going to keep pushing the, uh, pushing the tempo there. Mm -hmm. If you hear the Magician's bench, you got Noah Perez screaming, that's all they got. And right now, he's not wrong. Like, he could see that their offense is sway driving to the bucket. But and possibly can't. a kick out and them just passing around the perimeter. That's, like, about it. But if they can't stop it, then uh, why not do that? Oh, yeah. Gator's just yapping his gums out there, bro. Oh. Oh, man. Been since his days so on the Abyss Bros about, oh, on the they, white team. They're bumping each other. It's right? getting a little chippy. <laughs> Looks like John Lott's really good at getting into people's head. He likes to play that mental warfare while he's out there. And, you know, everyone knows in the game of basketball that's a tool some people have in their arsenal. Absolutely. What's scary is sometimes he can't even get in his own head. He just goes out and just balls. <laughs> Uh oh, passes it straight to the Reapers. Here comes Fonzo. We try to look Goes all the out. way up. Couldn't hit that one. Arsena can't hit either. That might just go as a brick of the day. Brought to you by Zane the Realtor. They had two chances there. They did. They also had a 2 1 1. That is the assist of the day. Brought to you by We Buy Houses. And you know what? It's a finish of the day as well. Brought to you by Ashes Bait Shop. Hood superstar right Two there. Two for one right there. Oh! He had a steal from Gator. He saw that. This is what the team was missing this whole time. Is the drive, the energy, the motivation. Look at that. They're attacking the ball now, and it's really working wonders for him. No, Noah's in for Chile right here. Not only that, but the Magicians are also, they're, they're mixing their game up. They're shooting a little bit from the three-point line. <clears throat> they're playmaking, trying to get points inside the paint. Something that the Reapers are struggling to do. So with the addition of Noah into this game, you're going to get a little bit different of a dynamic. Chili's out, so you're losing the big bruising athletic rebounder. Noah does a little bit of everything without looking to shoot. 
you could see, even though the previous play they had the shooting foul, who was right behind him, Noah was Noah. there for the putback. He's going to try to bring that uh, that energy into the game. Yeah, hundred percent. Harris at the line, shooting two. It's good on the first one. Yeah, I mean, I feel like when I was watching uh, Gary Harris play for the Dogs, he was pretty good. You know, I, I didn't really see too much bad about him. Two for two. Um, but it just seemed like the fit for him over there was just not it. You know, they had too many people trying to play and make, not too many people trying to score last game. I feel like that's what, that's what the issue was. No one was scoring for the Dogs last week. So they decided to make this trade. And Sometimes it's just all about fit. Yeah, you're right. Where you are on one team, you play a different role on a different one that might accentuate your strengths a little bit more and hide your weaknesses. Right. Speaking of which, we, again, we had Gary Harris over under seven and a half points in his debut there. He's at seven right now. So yeah. if yeah. you took the yeah. over, looking like a good bet. You're looking like a great bet. Good steal by Phil. Pass to Sway looking for a call. Gary Harris is another great finish. And there's that over 15 minutes into the game. Man. This, this is just a really good fit for him, I feel like. And then you have Trey Rivera here guarding up Arasina. He's really good on defense as well. Also a very high-paced player. Here comes Sauce looking for Sway. Sway pulls it from the three-point line and hits the three. And he's got something to say to the magician's bench. The triple one strikes again. Gary Harris uh, turns the ball over. Here comes Nick Arasina. Tries to get the contact, ends up missing. He's turning shot. around looking for that call. Oh, yeah, he no. he threw his body into Mike Mitchell. That's not a, yeah, uh, no, not a foul. Not and especially if you know that, get back on defense. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't know. That reaction seemed legitimate. It looked like a hand to the face. Definitely it's, a foul. It's hard to fake a reaction, hitting, like getting hit in the face on that yeah. one. Right. Professional NBA players, maybe they've mastered it a little more, but the everyday person. Right, yeah. You see the hand immediately come up. Yeah. He's, he's squinting. Yeah. Yeah. It's really hard to kind of fake that. Yeah. It's tough. Who do you have winning this game? <laughs> I'm always on Team Mike Mitchell, no matter what. He, that's... Uh, He's just my one of my favorite players in the league. But, you know, it comes down to the last seven minutes of uh, execution usually in these games here. I'm a big fan of that as well. I'm a big fan of um, anybody who can play that hustle play, you know, that dog play. That you could go in, grab rebounds, play defense, play offense, and just, you know. Well, this season you don't want the dog play. No, no, That's no, not. no, 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 yeah, you're right. Not this season. Well, hopefully they can turn it around, though. I think they will. They always, they always find a way. It's like that Even Stevens song from 10 years ago. Yeah. That game is actually going to mark the 100th game of the season. So. Of, the, of the actual league. It's a long season. <laughs> yeah, I know. You're right. Now look at this. You see, the Reapers have nobody underneath the free throw line right now. They're just praying for a three-pointer. Right. Uh-oh. It's just not going to work if you play that game. Scrambling for the ball. Oh man, Phil stays with it. See, that's that's the kind of play you oh, like to see. Oh, it was a great I idea. I would have went back to Phil. Oh, that's a hustle play. Oh man, that was a hard dive for the ball. That that was a hard hustle for the ball. I'm gonna say it one more time. That was a hard hustle for the ball. Oh my goodness, man! Bodies flying. Look like a car crash happened right next to us. So that's not the kind of ankle breaker that you get from the slip and fall of the day. That was almost an entirely different type of ankle breaker. Yeah, he's gonna have to go to a Matt Law for that one. Uh, they're trying to clarify. Uh oh. There's a little bit of trash talk going on here, but it's to be expected by both teams who really want to win. <laughs> Misses the front end of the one-on-one. Arsena scouting. Oh, almost gets the ball back. Sway with the speed, but can't finish there. 
The thing you worry about now is if you are the Reapers and you're going to start this trash talk, are you going to press into shots? Three from Trey Rivera! Both of them play a similar game. They're very fast, very high paced. They can shoot from the three. They can take it in. Reps called for a two on that one. Mike Mitchell called for a three. Uh -oh. Pretty sure somebody else holding up a one. I don't know how many points were just scored on that. <laughs> there goes a foul call. On the Magicians, Arsena's back on the line. You know, sitting on the Reaper's bench right now is a uh, five-year veteran of the league, I believe, in Mo. He is just a winning player no matter where he goes. I don't see him in the game, but it might be time to insert him in there. It might be. Mo is short for momentum. But you hit the over on Gary Harris. Yeah. That's our handicapper Mitch in the background. <laughs> and Arsena's good on the second one. Handicapper, you get hurt. <laughs> I don't think we could say that anymore. Oh, okay. Harris with the ball. It looks like he had Trey open at the corner for a second, but play. instead. Oh, there's, oh, there's Noah. There's that hustle play you were talking about. Yeah, he's not the tallest or the best looking, but he will give you hustle. <laughs> And sometimes that's what you need, just the extra guy that will just make that the, the volleyball type play to keep the ball alive so uh, somebody else can try to get the ball. Yeah, it gives you that extra oomph. I would take no on my team seven days out of the week and twice on Sundays, specifically because they play these games on Sundays. Right. So it's a foul on Phil. Fonzo at the line shooting for two. Misses Fonzo the front misses end. the first one. The collective free throw percentage of this game. <laughs> it doesn't look good. It is lower than the outside temperature right now. <laughs> we'll put it that way. I kind of want to see where it ends up, to be honest. That's a prop bet, considering it's Super Bowl yeah. Sunday. Oh, What's yeah, higher? That, that's a prop bet. Yeah, right. Free throw percentage or a temperature outside. Ooh, they had J-Ball leaking out outside. there, but they just couldn't get that ball out. Arasina taking it all the way. Can't finish. Right, they're calling it on number four. Trey Rivera. Arsena once again on the line. He called it on the floor. Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> Pretty sure Arsena missed his last two, so let's see if he could make up for that. And with these missed free throws, I feel like that's where the game's going to lie, honestly. It's going to lie within the free throws. All the ones that you've missed, all the ones that you've made. Yeah. Something they're going to have to go back and try to fix at a halftime. Yeah, if you see. I mean, there's 26 seconds left in the half. It's an 11-point game. You think back to all the missed free throws. It could be a lot closer than what it is. And they call them free throws. 25, 14, 16 seconds left in the first half. Gary Harris looking for a play, but here comes Nick Arsena. Man, the defense for the Reapers is insane. Here comes Sway and gets a sweet finish of the day. Brought to you by Ashes Bake Shop. And that's the end of the half. Also, I don't know if they've noticed. Nobody is back currently. They easily could have just... Oh, and there it is. Oh! oh. <laughs> they couldn't hit it. The score stays the same. 25-16 going into the half. And I guess I was baffled as to how the Reapers had the ball in the first place. <laughs> and now, a word from our sponsors.
Thank you, sponsors. We're back Let's here go, bullet, bullet. with the Week 4 of Season 5 Selection League game. Reapers, sponsored by Campus Customs versus the Magician, sponsored by the Grooming Gallery. And so far, close enough game, you know, single digits, nine, a nine-point lead by the Magicians. First, first half definitely went exactly how the Magicians would want, though. Right. Now it's, you scored more points than the other team did, so that's always a positive. So now all you guys need to do is maintain that lead. They called it travel, but I don't know if I saw him dribble or not. I, quick dribble, pump fake, did a little spin, and spin then tried move. dribbling again. Right, okay. It's definitely a travel, and what you might say, it's one hop too many. Brought to you by one hop to shop. Right. It's definitely one hop too many. <laughs> Yeah, they're definitely gonna let him shoot. He's gonna keep missing those. That's a brick of the day. Oh my god, but that's not. That's a three from Phil. That's what you want. You want Phil to start heating up here. Oh. That was a good hustle. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's what you want. You want Phil to start hitting threes here. You want him to start getting. Uh, Heat it up. Yeah, if you're the Reapers, you are not. Ooh, that's a. Yeah, Double he fumbled dribble. that a little bit there. That's tough. It looked like he was doing the Macarena with the ball in his <laughs> hand. It definitely was not pretty. Oh, yeah, no, it was. But what I was saying is if you're the Reapers, like, you're only down nine and a half. Now it's 12, but Phil really hasn't gotten go. going yet. Can't hit. Slash defender mode. And the Reapers once again, it's another travel call, another turnover for the magician. That's now the third hop too many brought to you by one hop to shop. Oh my goodness. That's three travels in a row. We'll blame it on both of us because I low key kind of get in as well. Don't tell me. That scoreboard mess up was brought to you by the Brick of the Day <laughs> by Zane the Realtor. Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Hey, hey, I'm going that hard. Wide open three. That's another Brick of the Day brought to you by Zane the Realtor. ZTR, as he's called in his friends group. There you go. Reapers. People like to call him Zaddy, but we'll call him Z. Sway takes it all the way. Sway. What I liked on that one is they Reapers had a three on zero fast break there, and J Ball was just calling for it. He wants that first layup of the game. He does. Phil, Phil, Phil can't hit from three this but a time. Big offensive rebound. rebound. Trey can't hit. <laughs> energy, energy. Yeah. Energy. That was a good take though. You know, take the fall. You know, the yeah. slip and fall brought to you by Matt Law. Well, second chance point, you had a wide open three for it, and then the third chance was a foul on a layup. Okay, so it's okay, so not, he's a, not, shooting gonna, foul yeah, somehow. not a shooting foul. He's, they're going to be taking it out here. That's confusing to me. I don't know where he was going other than uh, towards the rim, but, you know. Because Harris with the ball, showing off his handles. Because Trey. Oh, J Ball with a defense. big swipe. That was a good read by J Ball. Here comes Shakespeare coming down the lane. Finds J Ball in the corner. Oh! You know what the mistake was on that entry pass is you gave a bounce pass to someone who had the height advantage. That's one of those you got to go over the top because he's taller. Right. You putting the ball on the ground means the shorter person has an easier chance at the ball. Right. Not only that, you're making your taller, your taller player bend over to try to pick up that ball from the ground. Yeah. And right. it's not just, a knock on J-Ball, it's just no. biology. Right. <laughs> Anatomy. Physics. Oh! A good three-point shot by Sway. Sway and the three-point line might have chemistry. <laughs> uh, this is going to be fun today. Oh! Ooh, when well, he came down on his head. That was a hard one, I'm not even going to lie. That has to be a shooting foul. Has to be. Definitely a shooting foul. It might also be a face mask, a personal foul, and over the back, targeting, icing. Uh, that was probably every type of foul that you could have had. Yeah. And if this doesn't result in free throws, I don't know what would. I've seen again. Let's see. Now they do agree. Shooting foul. Yeah, no, it, it definitely was a shooting foul. Definitely a hard foul for sure. Yeah. The 90s, they call it a statement foul, but they don't do that anymore. 
<laughs> no, yeah, they don't do that anymore. Try to convince you to not go in the paint. At least four. Gator shooting for two. Sway questioning why they called his foul a foul. But it's, it's obvious. And Gator's good on the first shot. The Little gate. Ooh, Mike Mitchell got it to it already. The Gator roll on the free throw. Don't worry, it's coming. <laughs> And he's good on the second. Yeah, no, you can see it in his face. He has something to prove today. Especially yes. after coming off the suspension. Yep. Be careful with that wire. Here comes Sterling. Sterling to Nick. Oh, look. Good ball movement by the Reaper. Sway tries to hit it through again, but instead it's a brick of the day. By Sahino Wilter. Shakespeare tried going up for it. They called the foul. Heck of a hustle play, though. He turned a defensive rebound into a free throw opportunity. Mm -hmm. oh, let's see if he capitalizes here. They're not making poetry from the free throw line. No, no. <laughs> There's no, no poetry. <laughs> You're right. No. It's agony. It's like it's on the jersey. They come out like, no. You have three trades. You're lucky the coach no one's nice enough to even get your team another jersey. Sterling. We're going to have to swap. Shakespeare on the second shot. Can't hit. Uh, free throws, free throws. Wherefore art thou, free throws. <laughs> Oh man, today's gonna be fun. Oh man, good pass to Ethan Parks. Parks, Parks on the Gator. board. Gator looking for the open man finds Mun. Oh, uh, finds a hook superstar. And can't hit. Chili finds Gator from the three. Bangs a three point shot. And he was practicing that way before the game. Came here a little bit early. He didn't go walk with flashes. Hey, is that near one? Oh, 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 confusion. What's going on here? This might be a shock to you, but there's confusion over a call right now. <laughs> after after the eight that we've gotten today. Clock does not stop. But I don't know what's going on. Clock doesn't stop for sure. Mike is oh, right. We got people just walking what's going around. On? I mean, if anything, the Reapers are wasting their time trying to prove something. Down there. Yeah, Nick was sitting crisscross <laughs> applesauce on the floor for a minute. Oh, now look, they have and a... it, it turns into a turnover anyway. Here comes Ethan Parks. Tries to get it to Phil. Oh, we can't get it. Uh -oh. no, that's a good. That's not a foul. No, I mean, that's no, not a that's violation. A, no, it's not. He stopped. The ball just fumbled out of his hand. Sway hits the side. That's the break of the day. Brought to you by Zay, the realtor. That's two straight excellent defensive plays in transition by Sauce. That's again the Reapers' identity is getting back in def on defense, playing tough nose perimeter defense, and they got to follow their leader. Sauce is setting an example. He's always been an excellent defender. Oh yeah. And there's another one, there's another, another steal. Dude, whole, I mean, you have a whole bunch of defensive players on this team, and it's hard. It's hard to keep up this pace that they're doing. That was a sweet finish of the day, brought to you by Ashton Bakeshop. Sway, leaving his fingerprints all over the game. Great pass. That was the assist of the day, brought to you by We Buy Houses. Phil starting to feel it as well. Uh, Phil is feeling it, and I love it. <laughs> you like that? I'm learning from the best right now, Phil. Eventually, like I said, Phil's gonna get going. That's uh, yeah. if you're the Reapers, you got to put together a run here. You can't just trade like twos for twos. It's just a ten-point lead. You're gonna want to keep that cushion. Man, another foul on the Reapers. And that's what we're talking about, Chili, going up for it, being a, being that dog, you know, being that that aggressive player, going up for it, putting their you know their team on the line. Once again, no. No, we got to see if he hits the do. free throws mm -hmm. here. There, there we go. Man. That one looked nice. Yeah. Ten minutes nice. left in the game. Now's when you lock in. Right. Still a winnable basketball game. We need Chili to go ice in his veins from the free throw line. Right. It's a tale of two halves. One team is trying to hold on to the lead. The other one trying to fight back. Yep. Shakespeare finds Sauce. Sauce making two of them jump, going in for the reverse layup, but instead he pulls a foul. 
total IQ basketball player there right now. He knew he was going to get two people trying to pump fake, or trying to bite on the pump fake, I should say. I like that, though. Make them look at something different. Pump fake. Make two of them jump. Get them scared. Yep. And Chili yells back, how many fouls I got? Parker, the PA, a lot. Excellent PA work. Sauce. I love Parker, man. That's so funny. Sauce, two for two from the fry, uh, free throw line. Frego. <laughs> Mike Mitchell. I thought he was going to shoot that one. That's a nice little fake right there. I like the take. I like the take. He's got to finish. What's going on here now? What's the foul call? Ooh, they're saying a little reach in action from Gator on transition. I thought that was good defense. Yeah, I thought Gator had an argument there as the clean D. Sauce kind of left the ball out a little bit. The good thing is that he's controlling his emotions as well, which, oh man, rebound on the ones on the same team. Good pass. He missed Parks in the corner. Looking to make a play happen here. That was a lot of contact. Good defense from the Leafers, though. Crane making this a physical game. Sway going up with it. Gets the foul. So I, now, the, the, honestly, the tables have turned. It looks like the Reapers are starting to get the fouls and get to the line and trying to make the Magicians pay for it. They're making all the hustle players right now. And there's plenty of time left. Nine minutes in the game. Nine minutes in the game. So much you can do in nine minutes. 36-27 is the score. Show! Show! Nine batches of minute rice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Sway hits the first. It's only an eight-point game. Right. Noah's in for Chile. Give him a little rest before the home stretch here. Going to need the action and energy. Close it out. Smart. That's some good coaching right there. Mike Mitchell. Mike Mitchell. Looking for the other man. Sixth man of the year. Goes in. But Phil gets the put back. And because Mike Mitchell pushed that action the whole way through, nobody stopped ball. Phil had an easy offensive rebound to chase and he, after. And he, he was also the tallest person in the paint. No one was there to contest. No one trying to get that block, but instead Sway with the finish. He's super strong from there. Hey, we take it to the left side. Uh -oh, Stop the left side. Here's Shelly, strong side, left side. They do have to watch that left side. I was about to bring that up, actually. <laughs> Phil with the ball. Good screen from Gator. Three second violation. Offensive or three fence? Three offensive, defensive. <laughs> three offensive? <laughs> three offensive. <laughs> That's actually what they should call it three in the key, three offensive. <laughs> I'm just trying to make up new rules at this point to cover my mistakes. <laughs> Phil hits the shot. You know what those are? It's free points. Free points. If you're trying to make a double-digit comeback, you know what you can't give them is just three in the key calls. Right. It's kind of like, it's kind of like the safety in football. You know, you get two points, now you get ball back. Yep. That's definitely not a travel. His foot is still on the ground. No way. But they decided to that play. play. And Orisina almost had the brick of the day, but... He tried throwing Instead, that ball out of bounds. Instead, he had a smooth finish of the day, brought to you by Action Big Shot. Here's something that every team in the league should know by now. You don't throw deep on Sauce. He was a college defensive back. Don't try to throw the ball all the way down the court. No. He's going to he's going to Oh. I don't know. Well, it's a timeout read. So one hop to shop is the official home of the Selling Nation League merchandise. This week, they had the first drop of their official Season 5 CNL merch with hoodies, t-shirts, and long sleeves. Contact Selling Nation League at Sun Nation League on Instagram to place your order. I need to get myself something. You should get yourself something? Mm -hmm. You should get a relative something, a friend something, uh, maybe a pet merchandise if that's the next drop for next season. If they drop pet merchandise, I am buying that for my brother's dog, Peaches. Well, you got to get him a dog's jersey if that's the case. True. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I should bring it to the game, though. Fashionable and factually accurate. <laughs> factually. 
There's Phil. Phil, fadeaway shot. Starting to heat up now. Yep. And he's getting wide open looks in the paint. There's nobody contesting that because if you see, Chili's still on the sideline. Right. Which is good. Six minutes still left in the game. You could use him for the final stretch of the You will, but you are leaving yourself open in the paint. That's good take there by Shakespeare. We're back on track to writing poetry again, but here comes Gary Harris. Passes to Phil. Phil taking it in. Ooh. That was some hard contact there. Cha is down. So they're saying, so Sway stating that they cannot stop that play just because somebody stayed down on the other side of the court. And so they're stopping the game once again. Is the clock still rolling or are they stopping that one? You know what? Well, that was a bad slip and fall brought to you by Matt Law. They meant to go check him out. I think they're going to put him on, this, on the bench to make sure he's okay. No, he's still on the floor. What we have here is a compounding issue because maybe technically it was an offensive foul. It wasn't called. So the uh, Reapers have the case to be made that you don't blow the whistle when there wasn't a foul to be had and you let the fast break happen because they got the ball. Right. But on top of it, through the constant complaining, now you get a free throw on the other end for the technical. They're lucky Phil missed it there, but that was almost, uh, almost a disaster. You can see, honestly, it's literally the roles are switching. You know, the Reapers are now starting to get emotional, starting to get in their heads, starting to make these kind of mistakes, and the magicians are, you know, <clears throat> playing good basketball, playing level-headed in, in, in a way. But the Reapers really need to just kind of calm it down and get their heads back in it. There's still five minutes left in the game, five and a half minutes left in the game. I'm just glad the clock's not running here. This is a... Uh the confusion, but we want to see the teams finish it out. Seven point game, five and a half minutes left. And the Sauce, Sauce wide open three. three. Knocks it down. Sauce keeping his team alive. Hey, it's a four point game right now. It is. Believe it or not. Good oh. pass from Harris. Oh man. That was a pretty uh, hard fall. Brought to you by Matt Law. A Mott. A Mott. I keep saying a Matt, right? It's a Mott Law, excuse me. Oh, it says it right here, too. Oh, my goodness. COVID really has me in a. Oh! That was a bad turnover. You do not want that. Oh, boy. You do not want that right now, especially in a four-point game like it's this. It's tightening up a little bit for the Magicians right now. The lead said, now you see me, now you don't. There goes Sway with the sweet finish of the day, brought to you by Ash's Bake Shop. He stopped and Hezzy, no one jumped with him, so he said, you know what, I'll just go with it. So Phil said, let me do it too. Sometimes that's all it takes. You need to be uh, reset a little bit. You give it to your best player and you say, you go score for us. Back to back to back layups. Shakespeare having a good uh, sweet finish of the day from uh, himself by Ashley Bakeshop. Oh my goodness, so much is going on right now. Gary Harris taking it down the lane, looking for two. Mike Mitchell gets the rebound, complains, still gets it, and gets an and one, all in that order. Hood superstar, league superstar, humanity superstar, Mike Mitchell. Said it when he first came into the game, game changer, and that energy. That's a huge turn of events right there. Huge turn of events. Alright, no one's complaining that there were six Reapers on the court that they should be calling that. The refs are saying let's continue the game. I don't understand the rules of basketball anymore. You can have six guys now. Well, no, actually let something slip there saying we don't understand the rules of basketball, which might actually be true. But in that sentence, he was right. I like that shot from Shakespeare, and I like the hustle better. The sweet that finish of the day brought to you by Ashton's Bake Shop. Decided to go up with it, not caring who was around him. 
Not only that, but heck of a tip out on the offensive rebound to get a second chance point. Right. And that was steal from the Reapers. Oh my goodness, dude. This team's defense, when they really need to turn it on, it's a different kind of pressure. He was also, unfortunately, just not the play you want to make pushing that ball up court. Right, give Cla it to your best ball handler and take it down. Classic basketball adage, don't hit a half-court pass. Right. And Sway with the sweet finish of the day, brought to you by Ashes Bake Shop. Oh my goodness. It's a one-point game now, folks. Phil pulls. Phil pulls from the three, knocks it down. Quiet Keeping confidence. his team ahead. Arsena. Nick is not even looking, looking for a, a shot. Nice pass to Sway at the top of the three-point line. Chris looking to make a play. Good move. Good ball movement so far. What's going on here? Three seconds. Let's go. Three seconds in the paint. Three seconds. Let's go. So that's on another that, turnover. On that possession there, Nick Heart probably line. passed up a couple of wide open layups or floaters. And the Reapers were looking for a three. It feels like they had a couple of shots available to them there. Although it's not a heartbreaking turnover, but it's one that you do not need right now. No, not under two minutes. Not in a two possession game. Right. All right. The grooming gallery. This is Orlando. Orlando's premier barber shop where artistry meets grooming. Horace is a meticulous barber whose focus is on providing top-notch cuts and grooming services tailored to your style. Their brand new location, or their brand new location at Hunters Creek is a perfect spot for your next haircut. So shoot them a DM at the grooming gallery to book your appointment now. And I've looked at his work, by the way. Really nice cuts. I might have to go get my hair cut by him. The more the merrier. The more the merrier, right. We wouldn't be recommending these services if we didn't think they were top notch. Yes, sir. Alright, we decided to go with Harris to bring the ball up. Good move by him. Terrible possession. It's just too much Man. dribbling. Good move, but too much, yeah, exactly. Too much dribbling. It looks pretty, but it's really doing them damage. Everybody has seen a basketball game in the last two minutes where if the idea is just to drain clock, you make a lot of silly passes around the perimeter to try to waste clock, and then the other team complains like, oh, you got to foul him, you got to foul him. They didn't do that there. They turned it over. Right. Their focus should be to keep scoring. Keep his lead. Mike Mitchell's going to go for it, but he should pull it out. Exactly. Ooh, right back out to Gator. Harris decides to shoot the three. Can't get it. Gator with another rebound. Phil. It's a three. That might be it. The Magicians <laughs> want nothing more than to run up this score right now while playing the worst game-ending basketball you can imagine for a team that's winning. It's a three of his own. Man, this game is close. <laughs> it's keeping me on the edge of my seat right now. Where you can see there's a large, like, oh, there we are, turnover. Steal. Not a good move. Oh, a back to back steal. But it's Out another of bounds. turnover. Oh, man, back to back to back turnovers. Oh, dear Lord. No one might blow a oh, gasket Ashley's this game. He didn't go out. He didn't go out. Oh, man. See, this is where you wish the league was. We had like instant replay or something, you know? We, we have the owner of Ash's Bake Shop saying that it was not out. And if anybody would know impeccable line work, it's the artistry that is Ash's Bake Shop. Could have said, could have said any better. Get a second chance. Sauce Just short tries on to hit one. three, but couldn't get it. Mitchell bringing it down the lane. Going in for the sweet finish of the day. Brought to you by Ash's Bake Shop. Hood superstar, but Sway's coming in hot. He says, I don't care if you made it. I'm going to keep it close. Two possession game. If you're the magicians, you're holding on to the ball here. Noah calls a smart timeout to gather everybody's. And Noah threw, Noah threw the red flag on that one, so he wants to challenge that play. <laughs> The wrong sport, the Super Bowl's later. Yeah, you're right. Tune in for that one too, that's gonna be a great game. But man, 
But it was a smart call. Call timeout, let them reset, and try to, you know, run the clock out. It has not been an example of uh, real solid basketball to really the whole game, but to end this game, certainly. To end this game, I feel like there was more hustle. Right? It, is, it is exciting, though, but if you said that these two teams' combined records were 1-5, and five, I believe you. <laughs> Oh man, bro, you're great. <laughs> Usually the end of games just goes entirely different. Like the team that's winning throws the ball around the perimeter mm -hmm. and then you get like the complaints from the losing team like, oh, you're running clock, you're doing this. And right, yeah. This is the opposite. This is, opposite, this, is, yeah. <laughs> this is fast and furious. Vin Diesel. Wow, there's a lot of fouls called this game. How many fouls have been called this game? Does anyone know? A lot. Yeah. A lot. And if you ask either team, it should be either a lot more or a lot fewer. <laughs> Gator finds Harris. Harris trying to make something. Another foul. And they're trying to stop the clock here. Yep. I like this idea too. Put it in Gary Harris's hands. Forcing him to make some shots. Yeah, they're saying one and one now. Okay, okay, yeah, they cleared it up now. This is where those free throws become so important. You got to hit the front end of this, and that's what, and that's what I was telling you. It's going to come down to the free throws, especially as much as they missed. Especially, that's how I could tell. It was just going to come down to these. There you go. That's it. They're yelling for the scoreboard, so now I'm hyper paranoid, but this plug's nowhere near us right now, so... It's so. just because it keeps glitching. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm keeping my feet away from it. <laughs> there Harris you go. Is two, two for two. two. Puts him up six. 15 seconds left in the game. They gotta make something happen here fast. Chris decides it's to hard. go for a desperate three, but air balls it. That's definitely the brick of the day. Brought to you by Zane, the real chair. It is hard to catch up when the other team keeps scoring. Right. It looks like the Magicians are going to take this one by eight points. They get their first win of the season to make them one and three.